Hey everybody, welcome back to my Eurovision React Review channel. So, regrettably, another country this weekend has decided that Eurovision 2023 is not for them. And actually reading their official statement, it's looking like it's not going to be them for a really long time. Yeah, what was that really, really blunt response? Bulgaria will not be taking part at Eurovision 2023, and most probably in future editions as well. After analysis, it was decided that this programme does not present an interest for the broadcaster any longer. I mean, you could call them out in regards to being a little sour in the sense that they really did not do the well last year. But nonetheless, Bulgaria is gone, it's out, ciao ciao. And like I said, I don't, it's not even like North Macedonia where they're very much kind of like, we wanna come back, we're definitely still gonna host the final, we're definitely hosting the semi-finals. It's just at the moment, financially we can't do it. Bulgaria is like, see ya. <laughs> Go screw yourselves. <laughs> so yeah. Um, anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to revisit Bulgaria's efforts at Eurovision as a way of, yeah, doing my homework to try and work out my top three songs from Bulgaria. Bulgaria doesn't stand out to me as a country that's at the forefront of my mind in regards to my favourite countries at Eurovision. So there is every potential that some of these songs I will have forgotten. But let's check them out together. So what I'm gonna do is, when each song comes on, I'm going to decide where I like it. Where I like it, that makes no sense. Whether I like it. So if I like it, it's a bop, and it should be a bop. I'm a Eurovision fan. There shouldn't be any reason for Eurovision songs not to be a bop. I'm quite loyal to Eurovision songs. Um, for me, flop is if, eh, it's okay, um, but it's just not kind of clicked with me and as a result of that I don't really ever listen to it and stop is nah not for me it wasn't for me then not for me now and if I do hear it I might be Ooh, or I might skip <laughs> or I might stop so uh yeah so as always I want to just thank Schlager Lucas uh he is a YouTuber that creates compilation videos on YouTube um I couldn't do these videos without him it saved me so much time so do please support his channel um go and check his channel out and subscribe so I do not remember this song and what's my excuse I've advocately advocate I have always stated that Eurovision post 1999 is my thing I don't remember this song it sounds bad it sounds really dated oh I do want to stop it <laughs> I didn't like this at the time. I know this one. Um, this is not going well. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing for me endearing about this song. This is a stop. Oh, hold on a minute, Shane. You were too vast then. Something started to happen with that song. Let's go flop for that one. I'm really worried I'm not going to get three songs from Bulgaria to do a top three. So, so far, this is well in my top three. I hated this song so much. I know people liked it. I did not like this song. This is not going well. Please take me away. Is it a stop or is it a flop? Flop. I'm singing on to it. This song's shocking. <laughs> I forgot about this one. This song gives me nightmares. Flop. I can't do stop. It's just, it's too iconic for me. I don't know. <laughs> this whole thing just etched onto my eyes and I've just not, I've evidently tried to forget it, but 
literally as soon as I first saw that first still, it just all came flooding back. The nightmares. I actually didn't mind this song. I've yet to have three songs. <laughs> this is not good. Um, here's the deal, guys. I didn't love this song, and I don't listen to it now. I have no issue with Polly Genova. I think her personality is infectious. And actually, I did get to see her in Turin. She did a live set, and she's amazing live. She's a great performer. And actually, talking about that, she said in Turin to the stage she was coming back for Bulgaria. So evidently, they've not been able to make that work. But I have to be true to myself. Like, I just, I wasn't a huge fan, and but I do like Polly Genova. But I know that I'll be able to make up for this with another song coming soon that she sang. <laughs> Come on, Bulgaria, give me something. You don't mind this song, Shane. It's a good song. But I think like everybody else, like we were just let down by the staging, right? Like Sophie's got an amazing voice and yeah, she delivers that vocal powerfully, but yeah, what was going on with that staging? It's like, I understand not having a budget, but then there's Sophie's Love Unlimited. I did not like the song. <laughs> no, Shane, it's not a stop. It's a flop. Yeah, it's a flop. It's not a bop. It's not a stop, it's a flop. They will never break us down. Right, so I've got two in my top three, so we're doing something. Notice the year, subscribers, it's 2017. Something about this year. But regardless, I, I never liked this. No shame, be honest, be true to yourself. I never liked this song. Let's not take away from Christian. He's obviously very talented. I have three songs. Uh, this song. So his voice. Beyond the bones. So deep inside your soul. Um, I think this is one of those songs where I liked it, but after Eurovision, it took on a whole new level with me. I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of this song. Beyond the bars. Oh, what? Yes, Bulgaria! How could I forget about Victoria? I was literally a bit nervous then. Oh, sorry. Obsessed. I have slight um, PTSD with this song though, because I remember the first time I heard this song, I was in a hotel in Madhya Pradesh in India, and it was just when people were starting to talk about COVID in India. And we went to this hotel and they said that they were closing the swimming pool because apparently of COVID, no one really knew what it was. And I remember kicking off being like, I paid for a five-star hotel for the swimming pool and I, <laughs> they opened it for me. <laughs> I feel so bad, like knowing what I know now. I just, I, I'd been traveling for a few hours as well from Delhi and I was like, what do you mean the swimming pool is closed? 
Anyway, I would say a week after this, um, it all got very serious in India with COVID. Um, but I know exactly where I was when I heard this song. I was in a hotel room in Madhya Pradesh, really upset that the swimming pool was closed. But this was before I realised what was going to happen to the world. And I... I like this one. Like growing up is Thank God for Victoria. <laughs> What, compared to some of these songs, if I was going to do a top 10 Bulgarian, this would be in it. Um, flop. I mean, I would say it's a shame, but it's obviously not a coincidence that both North Macedonia and Bulgaria are semi-retiring on a non-qualification. I think at least with Andrea, North Macedonia can have their head held high. If this is, if this was Bulgaria's last song at Eurovision, they've not ended on a high, regrettably. But I thought the staging was very good. There we go. Right, Shane, top three. Okay, so top three. <sighs> yeah, I'm good. Right, number three is Equinox with Bones. Great song. I will continue to listen to that song. Here on in, here on in, here forth, henceforth. Something like that. Number two, oh, what did you decide? Victoria, uh, Tears Getting Sober. That song, honestly, 2020, when you actually do listen back to 2020, that was going to be an epic year. That song is amazing. And number one, I think it's probably most people's number one, right? Polly Genova, If Love Was a Crime. I got to see that live. Um, I got to see that live in London at the London preview party. Did I see, and I also did, I've seen her three times. I saw her at Vauxhall Tavern in London. She had a night there and I saw her in Turin this year. So yes, Bulgaria, you've had some, do, you've had some, some good songs that have resonated with me. So thank you for those. And come on, calm down. Eurovision is just a bit of fun. <laughs> come back. <laughs> Don't be going and like, you know, giving out those statements. <laughs> like you're throwing your toys out the pram. <laughs> that statement was funny. Right, okay, I will leave it there. If you are still here and you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Please do click the notification button so you're informed if and when I post videos. And yeah, until next time, stay safe.